If you're a human or you've got a human heart, then this video is for you. And even if you don't, even if you're an animal or an alien or a robot, then stick around because these are 10 fascinating facts about the human heart. Fascinating. I'm Danny Burke, this is Most Amazing Top 10, and let's get into this. At number 10, your heart beats 72 times a minute. That's 4,320 times an hour, 100,000 times a day, 3.6 million times a year, and 2.5 billion times in the average human lifetime. The average most amazing top 10 video is about 7 minutes long, which means in the average time it takes you to watch one of our videos, your heart will have beaten 500 times. So sometimes numbers can be fun guys, sometimes. But what makes your heart tick? Well at number 9 it's all down to electricity. The sinoatrial node, sometimes referred to as the heart's pacemaker, fires electrical pulses at regular intervals. These electrical pulses is what makes your heart contract, which is what pumps the blood. In fact, your heart produces enough energy every day to drive a truck 20 miles, and in an average lifetime, you could get to the moon and back in a heart-powered truck. I'm not even sure what a heart-powered truck would look like, but that's not the point. At number 8, your heart pumps blood to every single part of your body. Well, almost every part. Every cell in your body needs oxygen in the blood pumped to it to survive, except the cornea, which is the outer barrier of your eye. But aside from that, your heart is pumping blood to all 75 trillion cells in your body every single day, day in and night, until you die. Fun. Alright, let's move on and jump into our number 7, and did you know that laughter is the best medicine for your heart? A study by the Maryland School of Medicine found that laughter causes the tissue of your blood vessels to expand and increase blood flow, while stress has the opposite effect, constricting blood vessels and reducing blood flow. In fact, a good laugh was found to increase blood flow by 20% throughout the body. And all of this basically means that when you laugh, your heart's job gets a whole lot easier. So laugh, right now. Do it. Laugh. I mean it. Okay, maybe later. At number 6, when someone can't get oxygen to a part of their heart, they get a heart attack. There are early warning signs of heart attacks, but they're different depending on your gender. You've probably all seen these images of men clutching their chest in pain during a heart attack, but this isn't the same for women. Women are more likely to feel nausea, indigestion, pain and shoulder aches instead. Before I made this video, I honestly had no idea that there was a difference between men and women when it came to heart attack symptoms. But now you guys know that too, and that fact might end up saving someone life one day. I'm kind of like a top 10 superhero, kind of, not really. Okay, let's move on. Moving on to number 5 now, and did you know that your heart loves the music you listen to so much that it ends up mimicking the rhythm of it? Professor Luciano Bernardi of the University of Pavia monitored the hearts of volunteers listening to music and found that their cardiovascular system mirrored the music's tempo. In intense songs like Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, the volunteers' heart rhythms follow the great ups and downs of the song and return to normal during the silence. So now we know that your heart loves a good laugh and loves good music. I'm starting to think your heart sounds pretty cool. I wouldn't mind hanging out with your heart. Sounds pretty chill. Coming in at number 4 now guys, owning one of these, a cat, might actually be good for your heart. One study in 2008 found that cat owners were 40% less likely to die of a heart attack over a 20 year study period and 30% less likely to die of any cardiovascular disease such as a stroke, heart failure or heart disease. So what's the deal? Are cats like magical or something? What's going on? Well obviously we know cats are magical, but the real reason is that cats are said to lower your stress and anxiety levels, which lowers the amount of strain put on your heart over an amount of time. Alright, for number 3 now guys, if you're curious about the science of your heart, then there's a way you can figure it out without having to cut yourself open. Don't do it, please don't do it. If you're watching this and you consider yourself to be a child, then put one fist out like that, that's roughly the size of your heart. And if you're an adult, Adult like me, then it's roughly the size of two fists. Unless you have abnormally large hands, in which case I can't help you, I'm afraid. But I did also see online that apparently the average human heart is the size of a large turnip. I don't know why they're using a large turnip as the most relatable object, but I hope that might help some of you. At number two, hearts love to synchronize with each other. Studies have found that couples in love who stare into each other's eyes end up with synchronized heartbeats. The same has been found with horses and their owners. And in 2013, 
2013, researchers in Sweden found that the heartbeats of choir members who were singing with each other ended up synchronising. Who knows, maybe my heart and your heart have synchronised their beats as you're watching this video. We're one. I don't know what that means. I don't know what. I don't know why I'm doing that. But coming in at number one now, we're going to be talking about how it might be possible to die of a broken heart. Researchers have found that a number of people who died from heart attacks or a stroke in the month after a loved one had died was double than those who had not lost someone. It's thought that a shock of this kind of grief causes a sudden release of hormones that can stun the heart muscle. And this can happen to people who previously had no history of heart problems. When researching this, I found tons of examples of this so called broken heart syndrome. There's so many couples out there who have been married for 50, 60, or maybe even 70 years who had all died within a week, a day, or maybe even just a few hours of each other. The science seems to say it's true, but I still want to hear your guys' thoughts about it. And I want to hear your thoughts on everything else we've talked about in this video because that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. I just want to say that I'm one of the most squeamish people you'll ever meet. I hate anything to do with blood or veins or hearts or uh, I just don't like it. So I'm pretty happy I got through this. But I'd be even happier if you guys subscribed if you haven't already. Also, if you want to keep watching videos right now, there's two over there. So just keep going, keep going all day unless you have something to do, then stop, stop, just go and do it. In the meantime though, guys, thanks for watching the most amazing top 10. My name's Danny Burke and I'll see you guys in the next one.